Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. You can find us on the web at thebimguys.com or just search us up uh, under CAD Tech Seminars. In this video we're going to cover how to adjust the printing in Revit MEP. Some of the problems that happen is out the box if you print out of Revit MEP the backgrounds are too light or they don't work the way you'd expect them to work. So we'll take a look at some of the aspects here. I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to go to print. Now when a dialog comes up you can see we have the setup here. Now I hit setup and if I go leave it let's say as is all the settings and we'll go down here and we'll hit OK on that. Let's actually put the colors to let's say uh, grayscales. We hit OK on that. Actually we're going to go back and we'll set it up to black lines. Now we set it to black lines and you'll see right here it says replace half tones with thin lines. We're going to leave that off first of all and we're going to run a test. Okay, do I want to save this? No. Okay, now we're going to go preview. Now in a preview it, you'll notice that the background is light. Now depending on your printer this may be too light or too dark. So we're going to look at about four different ways to make the background work for you. Now first step is probably the easiest. We're going to drop this down. We're going to come down here and hit print again. Now the only change we're going to make is in setup. You see it says black lines. We know it was black lines but it also did gray lines too. Now grayscale will actually take all your colors and code them appropriately but we're going to do black lines. But here's the trick. Number one is hit replace half tones with thin lines. Now this is number one of, of many of them. And now we'll do a preview. And you notice that the line work here is now black and thin. So it reads pretty good. So that's a quick and easy way to do it. But let's look at some other ways now. We'll close out of this. Now in Revit what you see is what you get. So you'll notice on the screen here if it's gray well it's going to print gray. The trick is to kind of print a few times and test drive it. Now this gray happens to be too light if we run it out of certain printers. So we have some other options. We've covered one by setting it to thin line. Let's look at some others. We'll go up top to the Manage tab. On the Manage tab you'll see a little button. It's kind of hard to see here but it says Additional Settings. And you'll see Half Tones and Underlays. Now one thing to do is adjust the darkness and brightness. Push it to dark, hit OK. You'll notice how it darkens up. Slowly move this up and hit a few test prints. Now every printer is going to be a little different and see what works for you. This may be it. You're done. It works out great. So that would be number two. Let's take a look at number three. Let's go put that back. Half tones and we'll put it back to the middle so you'll notice that you can see the lightness. Okay. So that was number two. Number three is if you come down here and you change this discipline. If I change this to let's say coordination, you'll notice it'll turn black. Now at this time we can adjust the visibility of the layers by typing VV and adjust them as needed. Now that sounds all nice and sweet but here's the downside. You'll notice that it moved it to coordination. So now all your organization has gone out the window. So let's take it a little bit further. I'm going to go back to this view and I'm going to say don't, don't go coordination. I'm going to say go to back to mechanical. So it'll fall back where it's supposed to be. This is the way we like it so it's organized. Now, how can we have full control over the layers and also keep it in mechanical? It's a very simple little switch. We go up top and we say, we want you to be half tone and underlay. What we're going to do is actually turn it off. When you turn it off, it restores it back to its original state. Now, we have control over how we want it to look. Now, if you want the doors and the windows to look different from the ceiling grids, well, you have the ability to do that. So now let's take a look, let's say, at a ceiling. So let's say I want the ceilings to be thin lines, but I want the walls to be a gray line. Being that we have that switch turned off, I'll go to it again. Half tones and underlays, we turned it off. We now have the ability to set this up. Now, we can do it globally, or we can do it per view. Let's do it globally first. We'll go to Object Styles, and we scroll down to the bottom. And you'll see down here it says Walls. Now we can take the walls and say, you know what? I want a certain gray. So I'm going to take it to a certain point like so notice the color and I may also take it make it thinner because remember I'm in a mechanical drawing I don't need it to be thick so I'll say make it thin and make it thin um, we'll make it a little bit thicker so it's not too too thin let's go to medium here okay and you'll see we pick a color now I hit OK now what's happened is notice how we grade the walls out but we still have the line work here that reads for our ceiling so we have the ability to make these adjustments however we want now let's go back to the mechanical plan 
you'll notice that that also bleeded uh, or went through the whole model. Notice how the walls are thin and they're a lighter tone. Again, we may play the same game with the doors, etc. So I'll go back up top and we now have control over how all these things work. So on a mechanical set, we may say, you know what, really, we can take most of our architectural stuff. Now, if you're using uh, Revit 2012, there's a button down here that says show dis you know, specific disciplines only. On 2013, it says just show architecture. You don't have to use this, but what it's doing is just making my list shorter. So now in here, I can say, well, take all my doors, and I'll say maybe hold a control key down. I'll say take maybe my furniture and maybe some other items let's say columns and I'll say I take all of these and we'll now uh, click on a color and we'll set all of these to let's say a 1 I'll change this one to a 1 okay change it 1 and maybe a 1 and then maybe a 1 so notice those are all 1's furniture door and then last thing I'll change maybe is the windows so um, we have the ability to adjust the line weight however we like we hit OK on that you'll notice how the doors and the windows have gotten lighter. Now let's go back VV one more time. And under doors and windows, there are actually uh, more settings which I didn't hit. So we want all these to be thin. So I say override them. Oop, wrong view here. We'll go back up. Object styles. So in the object styles, we go down and we can adjust it. But what this is doing is giving you the ability. You can see how they have these different colors here. We can change them all. And I'll grab all of them using the shift key. And I'll say make all the colors to some gray tone. But uh, this has given you the ability, and you can remember these numbers, by the way, uh, to make it the way you want it to read. Now, I'm not sure why it, it didn't show up there. Let's try that again. VV. Cancel. We'll go back to Object Styles, and we're going to go back to the Windows and Doors. Oh, that's why it was a door. Sorry. So, uh, I wasn't paying attention there. So, we can take all the doors, Shift set the color that we want. So this is giving you full control over how things look. So you'll notice that now everything kind of grayed out <clears throat> in that look. So it's up to you on how you want to adjust it. Uh, you may find a color that works best for you. Now again, just one last time because my windows doors are not thin enough yet, so we'll try that again. Doors. And we'll grab all these settings <clears throat> and we'll now set these to a 1. Uh, okay. So let's see, one there, there we go. We hit OK on that, and everything's nice and thin. So what we have the ability to do is turn down the, the color a bit. As you can see, we turn down the color a bit. And we also uh, turn down the, the line weight, but we have full control. Go back to our ceiling, and notice that our ceiling reads a little heavier because we left a little bit of line weight there. So it's up to you on how you want to do this, but that's, uh, that's four different ways that you can adjust the settings so Revit MEP prints the way you want it to. If you have any questions or comments, check us out on the web at thebimguys.com. And uh, you can find out about our company for support, training, etc. Thank you.